Today I will talk about the German armed forces and their structuring in World War II because I know this is even confusing to German speaking people. So let's take a look. The first is the Wehrmacht, which means basically defense force. And in World War II, this was the name of the German armed forces. Now let's take a look at the three branches of the Wehrmacht. The first is the Heer, which means simply the army. The second is the Luftwaffe, the Air Force. And the third is the Kriegsmarine, which literally translated means more Navy. So, but where is the Waffen-SS? Well, the Waffen-SS was not part of the Wehrmacht. But in overall command structure, the Waffen-SS units were usually under command of the army. So let's take a look at the command structure. Now the high command of the Wehrmacht was the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht, or short OKW. Then there was the OKH, Oberkommando des Heeres, for the army. Then there was the OKL, Oberkommando der Luftwaffe, for the Air Force. And finally the OKM, the Oberkommando der Marine, for the Navy. But that structure was never in effect. Due to internal rivalries and political scheming, there was no centralized command structure above the three branches. Hence, the de facto structure is better reflected by this representation, where the OKW and OKH were in charge of different theaters. This setup was not changed until April 1945. When Hitler placed the OKH under the command of the OKW, hence the Wehrmacht could surrender with a proper command structure. Short recap, the Wehrmacht means the armed forces, whereas the army only refers to the ground forces that were not part of the Waffen-SS. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and see you next time.